Good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS and today we are looking at Chord Jam. Yes indeed. Hello. Hope you're all doing well out there. If you are watching on Facebook, welcome along. You can always join us here at YouTube at youtube.com uh, slash Jade Star. Or you can also go to the website, which is how to app on iOS.com. Or you can head over to Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jade Star. Also, we have a Facebook page as well. Because we are the Warts, the Warts, the Warts Facebook page. So you can always go there as well, which I've just popped a link into the description, into the chat. There you go. All good. Everything's covered there. Howdy do to the chat. Let's say hello to people. And uh, hello, 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 hello. Danny Broderick, hello. Hello, Russ. Hello, paying to get. Hello, uh, Colin Powell. Hello, uh, who else? Scott, hello to you. Hello, Synth Widow. Hey, hello, Audible Video. Hello, Tom Rochelle. I hope you're going good, my friend. It's one of our amazing moderators here on this channel. It's great work. And hello to the infamous, the one and only Dr. Soldiers. I'm sure you are offended by my t-shirt, uh, Russ. I'm offended by it too. That's why I'm wearing it. Um, I just got this in the mail yesterday, actually. And and don't... <laughs> just before people get upset, it's not... I'm, it's just not... I'm not making a statement. This is an actual band t-shirt for a band called Blood Duster. It's a, a metal band here in, in Australia, one of my favorite bands. And this is one of their album titles. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's, it's hard when a band goes out and calls their album this. I just want to wear the shirt, you know. And you know, you know, you know what YouTube's algorithms are like with swearing. So I thought, well, they can't stop me from wearing a shirt. <laughs> hey, Paul Mint. I hope you're doing good. Who else is here that I may have missed? Michael, aka Zeland. Hello to you. Um, Sai, it's effing good to see you. Um, I'm scrolling down. I got sidetracked with my t shirt. I know, Russ would never say a word like that. It's absolutely, it would be unimaginable. I have an idea. Hello to you. Um, scrolling. I think I've got everybody there. Ed Zelinsky, hello to you. I uh, hope you're do, doing well as well. Ed, alrighty, we've got heaps to go through today because this app is really cool. And uh, I, I want to cover as much of it as I possibly can. Could be, I could go a little bit Gavinsky today with a tutorial. Um, I love the developer. Uh, so, uh, because it's, 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 look, here's the deal. Um, you know, I'll get into it in a second. So, let's just talk about uh, any new apps or, or, I mean, price drops or anything like that. Because there's a couple of notes that we should go through. So, uh, uh, Peppy, cue the music. Peppy. Cue the music. That's a good onion. <laughs> wow. Peppy did something good for a change. So, let's head over and have a look if there's any price drops. And there's one. there's a couple in particular which are, are pretty cool. So, let's go full screen, give you a full screen view. Um, oh yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, oh. I just can't help myself. Um, oh. Maze Rider, Maze Rider is an auto leveling app and it's a pretty good app too. Uh, so it's down from five ninety nine to four ninety nine. So there's a dollar. You get a dollar saving. I'd buy that for a dollar. Um, a mammoth bass amp. I've done a show on this. If you don't know mammoth bass amp, it is excellent. Um, so for bass players out there, it's dropped incredibly by a heap of money. So eighteen ninety nine is the uh, original price. It's down to seven ninety nine. I've done a video of it. If you want to do a search, you can find it. Uh, DM2 drum machine 
I've got this. I've never done a review on it. Um, it's kind of like if you've got the DM1, DM1 was more, I don't know, it had uh, more stuff like you could uh, bring in acoustic kits and stuff where the DM2 is more like a, uh, a, a noisy kind of where you manipulate the drum sounds and stuff like that. But it's still good uh, in itself. So that's on sale for 99 cents. Aurea Pro, how can you not get Aurea Pro when it's at half price? Yes, I do prefer DM1 as well, Russ. DM1 was more up my boat. This DM2 was a little bit just more chaotic. All right, so that's really nothing much else has changed. So, you know, uh, and remember, Tone Stack is still on sale too. All right, remember this thing's, grab this thing because it's it's worth it. And Roxon's on sale as well. So remember those. Uh, let's get rid of this music because you know where it needs to go, don't you? Down the toilet. All right, what else do we have to cover? Let's cover this before we jump into the app today because it's kind of sort of important. And I ran a poll a couple of days ago and I, I encourage you all to jump on my poll. So oh, I knew no matter how I said that, that's going to sound bad. But uh, all right, so um, I ran a poll and there's a reason why I ran this poll. Uh, so I asked the question, uh, which audio interface do you use uh, with U I O S? Yes, I'm, <laughs> I can't spell for crap. <laughs> um, so I did put this up there asking people to uh, tell me what kind of uh, uh, blah, 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 interface you use. Why did I do this? Well, because there's been a lot of issues with uh, the uh, iPad Pros especially and the crackling sound with iOS 14 dot 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 insert update number here uh, of the crackling issues which are coming from core audio and I was reading a lot of stuff of people saying that uh, they think it's possibly interface specific specifically the Focusrite Scarlet series was experiencing it more than others so I wanted to know if what people had firstly and very kindly uh, many of you commented so you can see the results there so I made 13 percent um, so, you know, it's only 28% uh, uh, focus right. So a lot of focus right users out there. Plus, I was really shocked to see a lot of other users. If we have a look, um, Mackie Mixer, Taz Cam. So uh, what have we got? An, an Audient Evo 4, um, a Novation Audio Hub, Zoom H6, um, Audient ID 14, We've got another focus right, iRig Pro, M Audio, with uh, Tom Michelle, Apogee Jam, Ap Apogee One. So what I did today was put up another um, poll for you all to jump on if you would like to. Um, asking, are you having sound issues recording music on iOS 14.5, 14.6, pops and cracks, noises or strange crashes? If so, let me know in the comments what issues and your device and what iOS version you are using. So if you want to jump on and have a look at that, let's see if we can kind of come up with a solution somehow and maybe send, because I send regular reports to Apple about these crashes and things like that. And I will gladly, on behalf of all of us, send all this information that I've collected and see if it somehow helps. But don't back your house on it because Apple don't really pay much attention to us, do they? Because we're just lowly music makers. Hello, Brad Example. Welcome aboard. Anyone else who I've missed who've jumped in? I don't think so. Hope you're doing well, Brad. Did you see Brad? Um, I don't know if you've got this already. In the um, price drops, Mammoth Bass Amp is on sale. I know you're always wanting a bass thing. I don't know if you have that or not, but there you go. All right, so let's jump in. Let's jump in and have a look at today's app. And today's app is, um, I've forgotten. No, I haven't. I'm, I'm messing with you all. I haven't forgotten. I'm just going to do a search for the price of it, which I do called Jam. Let's do a search. So the price of Core Jam is $7.99, yeah? $7.99, so it's pretty cheap. Man, I just put a new coil in the boy. Vape. <laughs> oh, wow, that's harsh. It's not harsh, it's actually good. Oh, oh lovely jubbly. Okie doke. 
So we're looking at Core Jam. What is Core Jam? Core Jam is really cool. Core Jam um, can help you, and if most people know, and I know Audible Video will pull me up on this. I'm the one finger keyboard bandit. La 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 la. And this helps you be even more of a one finger key bandit because it's cool. And uh, we'll open it up in AUM and kick off with it. And I'm going to open up two different uh, uh, instruments today to play around with this. And uh, you will see how fancy schmancy this app really is. So what I'm going to do first is open up, uh, let me move my mic forward, open up a uh, audio track that we have there. In fact, I'm going to open up two audio tracks. I'm going to open up a MIDI track because the MIDI in, uh, in, in Core Jam is going to control these two tracks that I have here. And in the first one, I'm going to select an audio unit extension and I'm going to do something a little bit different and choose iSymphonic. Give a little love to iSymphonic, yeah? Give a little love to iSymphonic. Yeah, I don't know either. Hey, want to wanna see something really cool too? Right, so here's my Apple Pencil, yeah? Did you know you can do this in AUM? If I hit the search button here and start writing with my pencil, look at this. I'm not writing very well. Black hot, <laughs> I wrote with my pencil. Did, did you know you could do that? That's f that, that, that's fancy pantsy. Yeah. Here we go. So we got iSymphonic hooked in here. Um, and I'm going to go down and select, uh, what shall I select? I think I will select a Baroque Orchestra. Yes, Baroque Orchestra today. today. Um, and in the second one, I'm going to choose, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to Interrap Audio and grab my pencil and do it again because it's really cool. Um, and right, oh. <laughs> Sample? Oh, <laughs> that oh, kind of worked. Damn. Let's oh, just... <laughs> It's hard. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to grab Sample Tank and we're going to bring up that acoustic guitar sound that we used yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, the day before. Yeah. Uh, so Black Hole. We'll throw Black Hole on both of them just because it's Black Hole, man. Black Hole. Black Hole. And in here in the uh, MIDI track, we're going to go to Audio Unit MIDI Processor and we're going to grab Chord Jam here. So this is the basic setup that we have. And uh, in Core Jam, I'm going to select my Arturia to control. The guitar's already on because it's an interrap audio, yeah. And in here, I'm going to choose Core Jam. There we go. So uh, now I'm controlling, uh, and we'll go into Core Jam. Uh, so we'll go into here as well and select Core Jam. So I'm controlling Core Jam with my Arturia key step here and in the other two tracks uh chord jam is controlling both of these see and i'm just going to turn off uh the guitar the guitar for now and let's jump in to a full ipad view here so you guys can see what's going on with chord jam all righty so this is Core Jam's interface. Now I know when you look at it, it might be like, what is all this madness? But believe me, it's incredibly simple to use. Once you understand this three part uh, process of what's going on. Hello, SLP ground sound music. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna go through the three sections. So up the top here, you have this wonderful section. Then when I turn on the sequencer down here, here is my sequencer. And then when I click right over here to this little section, it brings up my pads. So those are the three sections you need to be aware of. We're gonna turn off the sequencer and just start simple. So when you first load this up, you, the, uh, along, and we're gonna concentrate from left to right here, and then we're gonna go left to right from here, yeah? So from the very first section, we have a C, so this will be in C, and you have all of these other uh, keys here to choose from. Nice and simple stuff, right? So we're basically in C. Uh, across the next section here is you have all of these scales. So you, look, there's heaves of them, yeah, look at them all. It, it's so much, you could you know, 
be happy forever, you know. It would even make Gavinsky happy, there's so many of them. Or maybe not. It's probably a stretch. So, uh, so it's set to mine. I'm just going to set it to chromatic, just for fun. And then across here we have octave. So we all know what an octave is. So you can go down an octave, up an octave, up two octaves, down two octaves. Choice is up to you. Let's just go down two for fun. And then here you have chord types. And again, look at all these amazing chord types that you get. It, it's, there's so much, but don't let it melt your brain because like, it's not worth it. It's not worth troubling yourself because music's meant to be fun. Let's just choose a major seven, yeah? Now, what you'll see when I choose a chord type, pay attention over here to these voices, right? So when I chose major seven, it, uh, one of them has now grayed out. So I can't actually access that. So if I go over and choose a major scale, now two of them are grayed out. So as you choose different scales, you get options to a different amount of voicings. So if we go and uh, choose an augmented, look at that, we've got all five of them here. So let's hit a key and see what happens now that we do this. Ooh. Let's go with the major, oops, let's just go with uh, this major six. Now as I hit, hit each single string that you can see here, it's playing these full chords which it tells you are in this circular section here, exactly what chords they are. Let's change this chromatic to a major. And you get a representation of what is happening down here, what is actually being played when you hold down that single key. Okay, so now that we've kind of got an understanding of basically the top, which we'll come back and revisit some of these little extra buttons along here uh, very soon. Let's have a look at the voicings. So the voicings here, you can actually change each uh, part of the, the, the uh, chord, each individual note of the chord to a lower octave. So you can go down and you can take this one over here, move this one here, move this one here. Pretty nice, yeah? And very easily, you can take out some of them. You can remove two by just clicking on any of these and just keep two. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> very nice, very nice. Let's bring these other two back here, but even better is you have this uh, little button here and each one of these sections here has this button and you have a big one up here. So these are really cool to play with. When you click on them, they randomize, yeah? Look at that. So I'm just hitting the same string there. Now underneath these big randomization buttons, you have three buttons down here and each section has these also. So uh, the bottom one is this little arrow. You can hit this at any time and it'll reset. So that's along here, along here. I'll just go full screen so you can see what's happening. So along the bottom here, all these little arrows, they always reset this back to where it began. Let's have a look at the infinity button. Yes, Thanos's favorite button. So when we hit the infinity button, 
every time I hit the, the, the same, so I'm hitting the same string here. Let's just go full so you can see. It's changing every single time. So, and every note that I hit, it, uh, it changes. Let's go up a uh, octave, so it's not so deep. Nice, yeah? So let's just reset that with a little arrow and uh, bring that all back to normal. Turn off the infinity. And let's move over to the next section, which is the velocity section. I'm just going to have a little bit more coffee. It sounds wonderful with those symphonic. Like, this is only one sound, too. So, but wait, you wait till we get to the time section. Oh, <laughs> yeah! God, I love good apps like this. They're so much fun. So he, this is the velocity uh, section here. And off the bat, you have these two little dots here at the top. So you can actually move these around and decide whatever's in between is where these velocities are going to fall, yeah? So if I hit random now that I've moved these up here, now that I click the random, you can see they're falling in between those two dots. So wherever I move, if I move this one back here and now hit the random button, there's a lot more scope there between. So you can change that however you would like. Really nice. And again, same options here. So you've got the infinity button. So every time you, uh, you press, it changes the velocity of each of these notes. So again, remember, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Four are currently selected. And um, so each of these notes are changing in velocity. And at any time I can reset that back to zero by hitting the little reset button and turning off the infinity good so that's done let's move on to the next one uh, so this is your time now any of these two remember uh, with a pencil my trusty pencil you can actually draw these in so I can you don't have to hit randomize I can draw these into whatever I would like yeah so I can do that move them around to wherever I want and hit the little arrow to bring them back but let's have a look at the uh, next section, which is the time and ARP section of this app. So let's just straight away just draw in these. So we'll do them kind of like a staggering section. Yeah. So now when I hold down on a key, you can see those notes stagger in there which is really neat. And again, the same thing applies with this randomize button across the top, yeah? So just click that and you'll get these random sections. So you can hear there's this, there's this uh, break before, uh, when I hold down the key to where it starts. And I can hit random, randomize again. Or, and the same thing across the top here with uh, these little points, you can move those much the same as the velocity and, and decide how. So if we hit random, or you can bring it down as little as possible and hit random. Hello, Doug. Welcome to, welcome to the show, Doug. Great show this morning. Your piano playing is superb as always. Uh, plus, again, hello Joshua, welcome to the chat. You have the infinity button as well. 
So each time you play a note, you're getting all of this goodness happen. But wait, there is more. So you can sync this as well. So as you can see next to this little time section, there is a sync section that you can sync to your clock. So we set at 120, so you can sync that up as well. Uh, and you have this little option here, which is an ARP. Really cool. So now that we're set to ARP, Nice. So I'm just going to go up here and hit uh, the infinity on both of these. So every time I hit a key, now they're all going to change. Let's hit the infinity on this one as well. I'm going to just change the octave uh, down again. So with the infinity turned on, it uh, you can notice every time I hit a different key, it changes one of these sections uh, around here. So this one's up and down. Now it's up only. But you can turn the infinity off here and you can choose whatever you like. So you can choose up. Down. Up and down. Plus, you also can change the rate, which is really cool too. Uh, so you've got all these different rates you can change. So there you go. Doug Corp. <laughs> Do you know every time I go to say hi to Colin every morning, <laughs> for some reason, my iPhone always changes it to colon. <laughs> it's, uh, screw you, Apple. <laughs> you bullshit. It's, it's a disease, Colin. You know, <laughs> and I have to correct it every single time. It's ridiculous. Uh, um, all right, so you've got some swing here as well. Let's draw in some swing. For whoever uses swing, I can see Doug sitting there going, I use swing. Do you know who I am? <laughs> so that's the ARP, yeah? Really cool. And you can flick between the time and the ARP. Really nice. All right. So <laughs> yeah, let's go back to time. Um, all right, so what I want to show you next. So these little buttons here, you'll notice next to everything, there's these little uh, arrow buttons, arrow forward and arrow back. There's one uh, for every kind of, uh, so there's one over here as well. Yeah, there's, um, is there one over here? Okay, I, I think there's one for the ARP as well. Let's click on that. Yeah, so you've got this here. What do they do? So do I have it on? Let's turn it on. When you turn it on, it lights up. And what it allows you to do is you can go into here and you can select. So now all of these are turned on. So all these notes will be used and you can go in and turn off individual notes that you don't want being played, yeah? And if you double click on one of them, it turns them all off. And if you double click on one of them, it turns them all back on. Yeah, so you can do that with all of these. Um, 
so when it's on you can do that so if we turn that on and uh, what do we do we'll, we'll double click and turn them all off and we'll just choose D uh, E F did that work <laughs> So now you can see, just D's, F's, F's, and E's. Pretty cool, yeah? And we'll just double click and boom, they're all off. And then we can turn this off. So the same thing you can do with the majors here. So you can turn that on, you can go in here and then choose all of these scales and um, you can have them all running. And now it'll be choosing from all the scales. All the scales! Boom. Go back to time. And you can just turn it off at any time you like. Yeah? Uh, can I construct a quick 8-bar loop with it? Maybe. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that today because I'm not going to have enough time. I'm just going to run through everything on here. And then I'm going to run some guitar through it. Um, so that is something we'll do. Because I'm definitely going to look at this. What I want to do is... Um, <laughs> let's just say it. Let's get, get out there and open. When Atom 2 and Helium stop having their MIDI wars and trying to outdo each other with updates, and they finally settle on something that doesn't update every day, we'll go back and have a look at both of those and we'll try and use this in there. What do you think? When the MIDI wars are over, we'll uh, open up Helium and Atom and see how it goes in here. But at the moment, every time I open up Helium or Atom each day, there's a new update and I feel like I'm opening a brand new app. There you go, I said it. It's not, a, I'm not, um, I'm not being mean or anything, but it just is what it is, yeah? So, all right, so we've covered MIDI Wars. Boom, boom, yeah. So, all right, so we've covered all of uh, this stuff here with how you can use, oh, I forgot the big button in the middle too, yeah? So we've got this big button in the middle and this one just randomizes everything. And last but not least, before I move on, you'll notice there's this one in the middle. So if you do like a setting, you can actually hit this and it'll lock it in. It's the little key, so it locks it in. So you can see now. It's only the timing that's moving now. So you've got plenty of options there, yeah? Plenty, plenty, plenty of options. Um, what do you think so far? I think it's really nice, really fun. Um, so we're going to move over to the sequencer now and have a look at the sequencer. To turn on the sequencer, here it is, look at that. It's very simple, just turn it on. Boom, boom, there you go, boom. Okay, so you've got two tracks here for the sequencer. You've got a robot, an AI sequencer, and you've got a human sequencer, yeah? Um, now... We'll start off with the human sequencer. Now with the human sequencer, you can draw in whatever you like. So I've got my pencil. I'm just going to draw in some stuff. And uh, let's just draw in this because it's basic. And you'll see, it's hard to see. You can't actually see, but in these little lines here, see where I'm pointing, you can actually see the notes, but because the writing's so small, even on this full screen, you can't see it. You can actually go in here and you can click on it, right? And press down a key and change each one. So I'm actually, now I've clicked on the next one. And the final one. So now when I hit play, So it's really easy to draw things in and there's a little garbage bin at the end here and you can just delete it like this and they're all gone. 
The other cool thing is too, you can actually uh, test your notes. So you can play your chords and whatever the last chord is that you played. So we're gonna play this chord. It stays in the memory. And then when I draw this in, it's gonna be that chord. So if I hit play, there you go. So if I, so now I've hit this next one. And if I draw that in, we hold another chord, draw it in, and we'll go up high. And draw that in. So now when we hit play, And you can see up the top, because we have this randomization, uh, this infinity thing going on, each one that is being played, it's, it's changing it up. You can turn that off as well. You, can, you know, you've got all the options to do that too. Um, so drawing stuff in is really easy. Let's talk about this little line up the top here. Oh man, that's really full on, dude. Oh. So this line here, you can actually drag this to wherever you want in the sequence. So now if I hit play, this will just... You can do it on the fly. And also, these arrows at the end here, you can shift the entire sequence. If I'm clicking on it right. So you can see I can shift this wherever I want. And if I don't like any of that, <laughs> I can just go mental. <laughs> So that is, that's the humanized section here. So you can uh, change the steps of the sequence as well. So you've got a huge range of variety here. So you can go up and down, you can write that in, you can drag your finger up to change that. You can change the timing of it, all that stuff. Uh, also, let's move over to the uh, Android section, the AI section of it. So I'm gonna delete this human section. That's gone, and now we've got this Android section, which you can't draw anything in here, right? So I can't actually draw anything in with my pencil. I'm trying to draw in the top section. It doesn't let me do it. So this is all controlled basically by AI. So it's randomizing. Hello, Andy, welcome to the chat. Uh, and to kick off the order, order uh, sequencer on here for the robot, there's this little button. It's not so little, it's kind of big, big-ish, kind of, kind of, sort of. If I click that, Bang, it creates a random section for you. So if I hit play, whoops. And remember, I can change the chord types at any time. The key, any time I want. And then I just update and hit this little button here. We can slow this down too. So you can see when I change the tempo there in AUM, it's all connected here, so it went down to 100 as well. So it's all synced up, yeah, all, all nice and cool there. Now here's where it gets interesting with the robot section. So you have a whole selection of notes in here, so there's like this little mini keyboard in here. Hello Pete Johns, welcome to the chat. Welcome aboard. Um, so you've got these notes here, and you can change these out at any time. When you hold down a key, you'll notice it changes color to show you So I can remove all these 
and I can go in here and add that one, this one. So now, when I hit the little button over here, this should update and... Let's go up. Really cool, yeah? So the other really nice thing about this is we have this little, uh, so it's like a song section here. And you can see it's set to pop two. When you open this up, you get a whole bunch of presets here. So I'm just gonna click uh, one of them, click Indie. And then when I pop it back out of here, it's changed the sequence. So every time I go in here and change this, you'll notice, so if I go straight, go back, we've got all these little ones. This is gonna sound weird, let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, we'll change it to straight two. But check this out. So if I click on one of these, so I've clicked on this here, I can actually change this second one to an ARP, yeah? So let's go in and change that to an ARP. And now, oops, let's go in and make sure that's an ARP. Let's do that. So now when I hit play, I'll take this back to the start. Uh, I've just turned on the infinity buttons on all of these two. But not only that too, if I want to um, say I don't like this whole, uh, I want to keep this up section, but I don't want it that long. I can actually grab on it. Here's the thing, I can't draw anything new in right in the human section as i pointed out there i can't draw anything else in there i'm trying to but it's not working but i can shrink down each of these so i can take this down to here and then in the human section i can pick a chord and i can draw these in pick another chord and draw that in so now when i hit play So now we've got a combination of, of a, a chord here, an ARP, and then two more chords that we've drawn in. It gets better, right? Because you can save all this stuff too. So if we open up, um, let's go full screen so you can see what's going on a bit better. So if we open up this section, you can save a preset at any time. So let's just uh, call this uh, new ARP and hit save and it'll appear over here now. So that's now saved. Hello Hambo, hope you're doing well. So that's all saved there to go. So now I could uh, go over here and pick a, a straight four. And if we jump out of here, you can see, uh, let's just refresh this. We'll delete this out. And we'll hit play. So now that I've saved that, I can go back in here and choose my new ARP setting. And when we go back, 
It didn't work. Oh yeah, there it is. So what you'll have noticed, I've, I've, I've uh, bought in my preset, but instead of the humanization being down here, it's put it back up with the, uh, the AI section. So there you go, we've got this little ARP section. So, and you can save as many of these presets as you like, which is really cool. So you can hear, we'll go back to the start, just so you can see. Where's my ARP? Didn't save it. <laughs> Lie, made a liar out of me. What's really cool also is there is a little randomization button here. So we can click this and hit play. While we're in the, um, I'm gonna keep that on. While we're in this robot section, let's just uh, bring in, uh, what have we got? We're bringing this uh, EDM one, see what that is. Uh, you've also got this little infinity loop here, yeah? So I can click on this, and what this does is every time that it does a pass through, and goes all the way to the end, it will, uh, it, it will change things up. And you can decide how many times it actually passes through before that happens. But let's check this one before we move on. So you've got a randomization here as well. And you can decide how many chords, how many of these chords here that it's actually using. So if we move this up to uh, six, there we go. So I'll change that to six now. And we hit uh, randomize, let's do that. So you can see we've got six here. And we've got this randomization, uh, this infinity put on here. So you can see the whole pattern changes as well with each pass through. Wonderful. And the last thing we're going to cover today, uh, I think I've covered most stuff. So oh, look, you can save any of this stuff too. Uh, we'll just quickly go over the pads. So you've got this pad section and it's really easy to use. So whatever note that you, uh, whatever key that you press and then you touch that pad, that's done. So now I'll hold another key down, bang, another key. So now you've got and you can clear these at any time so you can actually hit the clear button i'll go full screen so you can see it so there's a little clear button here and then whichever one you touch it disappears you've got a clear all gets rid of them you can save them let's uh just add some in and you can also do this with the ARP. So if I click on the ARP and, and save that. And 
And the best thing is with all of these sections, so remember I said at the start, you've got three sections. There's a little pencil up the top here. So you can click this so you can save the entire session. So you can uh, click on here, call it Jade One, hit save. That's the entire session. Or you can save the individual sequence as Jade Two and hit save. Or you can save the pads individually as well. And we'll do Jade Three and save. So you've got plenty of options to save all this stuff. There's a quick save section as well which is down the bottom here. So you've got these presets. When I click on these presets, you can actually uh, click the plus button. So I can bring in one of those. Uh, I can, uh, that's number one. You can actually uh, uh, make presets there or you can go back in here and choose, uh, say in here and choose number two. So I want that sequence to be number two so you can have a whole lot of uh, stuff, yeah? So it, the, the sequence that can be, you can create heaps of these in here and then you can actually, when I we'll close this out, you can store the sequences all along the bottom here. So look, that's a, that's a walkthrough of this craziness. What I'm gonna do now is just remove the, um, and just bring in a little bit of this because this is really fun. Uh, so we've got the guitar connected now. And this is the American acoustic. Uh, let's bring down the octave here and um, play some chords. If we head over to the sequencer, how cool is this? Let's hit play. Man, this this guitar sounds beautiful in this. I love this guitar. Let's go in, get out the random, and just hit this indie button. Let's add in. Some strings there. How nice is that? How much fun is that? It's eight bucks, folks. That's incredible. I'll tell you what, last night, I was playing around with this. And I seriously just left something like this pattern on for about half an hour, just doing its thing. Just while I was just doing emails. Just the randomness of it, beautiful stuff. And again, I can go in here and randomize, say this last one, click on it. And let's turn that into an ARP. Oops. Let's stop this. Just click on this and turn it into an ARP here. There we go. And we'll hit the inf uh, we'll just leave it as up and down and hit play. Beautiful.
So there you go. What do you think? Oh, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Again, revisit this app definitely down the line because you can use it to control so many other apps, right? You can it's any instrument you think of that's a you know, UV3 interrupt audio, you can control it just like Strummer. And uh, we'll look at using it in a door soon or something like that. But this is just an introduction to it. I think it's really valuable, really cool. And I have two copies to give away. And let's do this now. So <laughs> we've had to make some changes to the competition because we've had a couple of people decide to enter twice under multiple nicknames. And unfortunately, they got unstuck when they won on both of their nicknames. So for the competitions going forward or the giveaways going forward, Enter with one uh, YouTube account, please. Please be fair. The, the whole focus of this channel is warts. We all rise together. Please try and let everybody have a fair chance to win. If you're, if you're using multiple nicknames to enter, just don't fucking do it. Or you end up being the person that's on my t-shirt. So I've got two copies to give away. The usual thing, just leave a comment below on this video uh, go ahead and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and please like the video let me know that you're enjoying this stuff as pete john says be cool peeps let's be fair to everybody let's give everybody a chance you know we all start we all start at zero making music and some of us are better than others or you had more experience and the same thing with money we all don't have all the money in the world to afford all these apps Okay, so that's why I try and get the giveaway so everybody has an equal kind of chance to, to win. You know, uh, that's it. And the developers are kind enough to do it. So please, be cool to each other. And on that note, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this app. It's beautiful. I'm just hitting my keyboard now. And that's going to be it. So take care. Keep doing the things that make you happy and make mistakes because they make you better. All right. And I'll see you again tomorrow. We're looking at uh, tomorrow Nano Studio 2 and I'm going to attempt to make some music in an app I've never used before. And it's going to be a car crash. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Pete Jones is up next. Go and say hi to Pete. I'll be there. See you later.